Here's Lisa in Toronto. Good evening. Hi, thank you so much for taking my call. You're welcome. You've spoken about Lionel Basil and about NXR in the past. And I didn't actually buy any, but I have some cash on hand, and I was wondering if now would be a good time to get into either one of those, and if so, would they be good for a long-term hold? Thank you so much. Oh, sure. Thanks, Lisa. So as I, as I said earlier on, the chemical companies benefit from uh, low natural gas prices, makes North American producers very um, uh, competitive versus other world producers who pay much higher prices for natural gas. Um, that being said, uh, the headwind that you face right now is a very strong U.S. dollar, which is tough on commodity prices. So there is some concern that pricing will not hold up uh, for some of these chemical companies. Landell is a great cash flow gener we generator. We do have uh, a position. It's sort of sitting on the one yard line. Um, so I would like to see this start to firm up. You know, in a strong market, we want to participate. Um, Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean by the one yard line. Well, it's pulled back from over 110. So uh, technically, I would say it's, it's very close to breaking down. Mm -hmm. uh, also, in the most recent rally, it has rallied less than the market. So we have a smaller position than we've had. If I were looking to add one position, I probably not, would not add here. I would probably add to something consumer related uh, or technology related or healthcare related. Um, I think that I would like to see the chemicals group start to catch a bit of a bid before we'd be interested in, in adding new money there. Here is Myron, who's in Scarborough. Go ahead, Myron. It's Myron, yeah. Myron, okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, great show, um, Mark. Thank um, you. I'm just wondering if um, your guest, um, David, um, can, uh, my question actually is on tourmaline, but um, I'm just wondering, uh, I've heard uh, David's um, take on uh, Paramount Resources um, this evening already. And opposed to uh, Paramount, I mean, uh, which uh, is what, can he give me what his, uh, which is a better play, if it's Tourmaline or uh, Paramount in this kind of market Okay. Um, yeah. going forward? I know Tourmaline has a 60-40 split in nut gas and um, oil, but um I follow those two stocks very closely, right. but I, you know, if David can give me which is the better play um, sure. and his take on, on Tourmaline going forward. Okay. Hang up on this. Thanks Thank you very much. Look, Tourmaline's had tremendous growth. Uh, it's a high growth company. Their cash flow has grown very nicely. Um, great company if energy is in favor, but I, I don't see that energy is making any turn anytime soon. So in one, in really the way I look at it is you're asking me to pick between two out of favor companies in a sector that, that nobody cares about in a sec in a market that is roaring. So I, I have to tell you, I would avoid both. There are people who will tell you that they believe there's relative value in one versus the other. That's not what we do. Um, we look for um, solid evidence of positive change, both in the numbers and in the price. And um, so I, I would just avoid this group for now. Uh, I think there's a lot of people who have bought this pullback, hoping it's short lived. If it doesn't turn soon, I think there's going to be a lot of people throwing the towel later in the year. Uh, if it does get turned around, uh, generally things don't V bottom and head straight back higher again. They have to do some work. So it could, it could just base for a while. So I, I just think that this is not the space to be doing your fishing in. Don't look backwards at what's worked over the last couple of years. Look at where the, money, where the money's going going forward. And we went through 2001 through 2012 where we got a tremendous opportunity in commodity markets, that's behind us. It's like buying technology in 2002, mm -hmm. right? Just because for two years it underperformed doesn't mean it got, to, it took 10 years. So I'm not saying that's what's going to happen with energy, but historically when commodities go to favor, it goes on for a long time. So you should just, you know, be aware of that. And I think be careful of making too big a bet uh, that you're going to be better at picking a bottom than a lot of other smart people in the market. So uh, to that point, we have uh, top picks coming up. David has a, a defense company, a retailer, and a technology firm. Stick around for those.